Let's continue our journey of surrender by walking with Jesus as he surrenders into woundedness. Then Pilate ordered Jesus to be brutally beaten with a whip of leather straps embedded with metal. And the soldiers also wove thorn branches into a crown and set it on his head and placed a purple robe over his shoulders. Then one by one, they came in front of him to mock him by saying, hail to the king of the Jews. And one after the other, they repeatedly punched him in the face. Then they came to the place that is known as the skull. The guards crucified him, nailing him on the center cross between the two criminals. While they were nailing Jesus to the cross, he prayed over and over, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of deep sorrows who was no stranger to suffering and grief. We hid our, haces, our faces from him in disgust and considered him a nobody, not worthy of respect. Jesus surrendered to love in his woundedness, and now there is an opportunity for us to reflect upon our own. So what wounds are still painfully open within you? Maybe some of those wounds have been old ones, but there may be some wounds that have been reopened recently. What are they? And what wounds are fresh in your life right now? And with those in mind, in what ways is God inviting you to surrender to his love for you so that you can experience his healing in even your most pain-filled times? And let's pray. God of comfort, help us to surrender the pain of our wounds into your love that our souls can experience the hope of your healing presence. Amen.